Greetings, Doomers and Doomettes. Carlos here, and welcome to Doom Eternal. Now, this is one of the anticipated games of this year I've been waiting for, and oh, Nelly, I am looking forward to it. So, let's just dive in to see what this is all about. This. Ugh. So, what I was trying to say is that. This is a direct sequel to the 2016 reboot and somehow it's somehow literally connected to Hell on Earth because that's how it was like a reboot to a sequel and something like that. Too confusing. And I kind of like how Doom Slayer is standing on that pose like that. And as you can see, you may notice on your farther right that I've been messing around with something while I was trying to record. I'm already at level 3 for that matter. And I am playing this offline instead of online because I kind of have a Slayer Club thing on that upgrade thing. I could just give you the link to the Cl Slayer Club later in the video. But enough trying to ramble on I'm not trying to say. Let's get into this campaign. Okay, and here's the difficulties. I'm too young to die, hurt me plenty, ultra-violent, Lynx, nightmare, and that skull looks kind of familiar somewhere, ultra-nightmare, and something extra life mode. Now I've heard that this has been known to be very difficult even in one of the easiest so people are recommended to play hurt me plenty but i'm gonna try ultra violent which is the gentleman way to play it yeah so with that out of the way let's just go into this magnificent sequel ripping and tearing and before we get started make sure you leave a thumbs up if there's anything you like comment down below and subscribe and make sure you press that notification bell to get notified of any updates. Now I will not be talking during the cutscenes when this is going on and all that. So with that said, let's begin. Against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce. We will send unto them. Only you. Rip and tear until it is done. Eternal. 
here. Okay, so... Let me just take care of these guys for a moment. Zombies. And let's try to change something for Something here. I'm just... I have located a nice signal. I will mark it on your HUD. All right, I've changed a few things here and there. The color of this HUD. And disable the vibration to distracting. But I did not change that to the classic pose of the weapon, so I probably might do that somehow later in my next video. And we got ourselves an enemy staggering over here, which shows us the glory kill. There. Yeah. Yeah. These poor people are tightly jabbed into this cage. I don't even want to think about it. Or do I? Well, whatever said, we found our weapon. And this is the chainsaw. So this shows us how to use the chainsaw. Okay, yes. Oh, and one more thing. The chainsaw is now used to get more ammo back. So let me show you. Because somehow in this function a bit different than the last game. Look, Ma, I'm a lumberjack, and I'm okay. All right, enough of that reference. We have found ourselves a question mark, which represents the secret. So let's go over here, and somehow it shows on the left, the punchable thing. Whenever you see something green, you just punch it, and you move it. And somehow we found the double jump thing, just showing us. Now let's just go turn around back here first, and you'll find a crack in the middle of this wall. Let's punch in another secret. Secret passage, actually. And I kind of like how they um, changed the item back to its original classic mode. The bottles. Right. Let's jump up to get the secret, and you get a toy zone. And they also changed the armor as well, the helmet armor thing. There's something over there, I don't know what. You just come back. Just keep on moving. And this drone. Weapon drone, which shows the weapon mod selection. Okay, we have two options. Sticky bomb or full auto, which is the auto shotgun. Now some people are saying that the auto shotgun is good for making it shoot faster and all, but it wastes ammo pretty fast, so we're just gonna select the sticky bomb for now. There. And it shows the weapon mod activated and all that. So instead of trying to punch it like last time, we just snatch it away. Okay, we got ourselves the map, but the thing is, it features this model of me, which is where I am, and we're already in this arena environment. And see these demons fighting each other. Yes. 
place just called Fallen Mountains. Let's just take care of these guys because to distract the violence going on. And how is that possible for me to get close to these guys? Explain this that you just saw. Instead of trying to make it randomized to get all these items back, this actually functioned a bit different. So, if you want to get health back, you have to perform the glory kill. But if you want to get some of the ammo back, you need to use the chainsaw because it's suggesting to use this chainsaw more often than the one in the previous game. And if you're lucky, you have to have like a flamethrower on your shoulder, flame belch, that will give you armor back. And yeah, so if I find it, I can just use that to get more armor. armor. But enough said, we found this page thing, so let's see what this is about. Hell bar. Now, I'm not going to be reading these things, so feel free to pause and read it yourself. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. And let's just check the image of this. I kind of like how this looks. Kind of reminds me a lot like the Lord of the Rings. Those ogres or goblin carrying anything like that. Similar to that. Alright, let's go find this Hell Priest character. I can't what? Cut off his head. I'm just fixing it for you. And I was wondering if I could play like a ventriloquist just to move his lip so we can say something. But no time for that. Ooh, Nelly. Look at this place. This place reminds me of... Ooh. Okay. The first Hell Priest has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. Okay, and I believe this big guy here is the Titan from 2016. Just get this guy. That worked almost. So this is literally hell on earth, which is the name of the episode. And based on this environment, I kind of assume that this reminds me of Doom 4 back in 2008 when it was canceled. Because that's the whole point, because it is hell on earth and it's Somehow like a direct sequel. That or... I got a cackle demon there. That or it's just something happened like... Either the coronavirus or... Our president, you know who. But I don't want to get too many of that. Involving political things. So yeah, this literally is like a direct sequel to... Like assuming to be a sequel to Doom 3, because it takes place on Mars. But this is actually the Doom 4 that we were trying to hope for. But luckily we got it. And we got this thing. Remaining human population. 
All right, let's see what the text and the image. And based on the globe, already hell has been taking over. And looks like Australia and New Zealand is doing fine. Doing good, actually, so kudos for them. Almost suggesting that it's connected to the coronavirus thing, epidemic. <laughs> That's a coincidence or something else. But we found another one of these drone things. So let's just get our full auto for this. Give me that! And here's the weapon mob swap, so we'll just switch it. Like this. Now we're just gonna save that for later because we don't have enough ammo to collect. So we're just gonna use our sticky bomb for now. Objective marker, okay. Already showing something right there. Okay, if you turn around up, you'll find a secret somewhere. Right there. And it's a little me. Yeah, you think I was gonna try to cut myself? My counterpart. This guy wasn't so lucky, so. And is that a giant mech over there? It is. Who would have thought? And there's another one way over there on the lava. We're just gonna deal with that later. Okay, there it is. Okay. Let's just have some fun. And break it up with these fights. These guys. The former human that just fell. These are just plain zombies. Get them confused by one another. Alright, let's go on the other side. Up over there. Which is another thing that I forgot to tell. I kind of like how they brought back the original design from the classic, from these enemies as well. The last one kind of looked different. Just jump up. Swing. And we've made it. And we have another new enemy. The Archfile. And it explains how to shoot its weak spot. The little thing on top, which is the little torrid thing. Take care of you. And there it is. There we go. And you'll poke your eye out. The Arachnotron which is similar to the spider mastermind in the last game. Ooh, these guys here and there. And I need to watch out for myself and I don't want to get killed because I don't want to die too early because that would be more disappointing. Kind of a disappointment. And it looks like we've opened the gate somehow, somewhere. Of course, these guys aren't a threat, those zombies. So let's just see if we can find more ammo or more of these guys. Nope, apparently not. Oh, there it is. Or there. Blow you up. 
All right, we can go. And we found yet another weapon. The weapon wheel things. We'll just skip that. We already know. The heavy cannon, which is actually a machine gun. Or the heavy assault rifle. I don't know why they changed it to that. But we also found another one of these. <clears throat> the auto safe map thing. Auto map station. What I'm trying to say. Has all the environment that I'm supposed to head. Okay. Everything seems to be clear, so I'm gonna have to go to the yellow spot thing. Let's see how this machine gun works. Oh yeah, I don't have any mod for this, so I'm gonna find another one. We got ourselves a little bell thing. Okay. <laughs> Ding dong. Okay, enough joking around. There's a little armor. And one more for the time. Taco Bell. Fresh food something. Dong. I like that commercial. Now let's have some real fun. Deadites from the Evil Dead series. But I can't stop now because I don't want to die. Something over there, so I'll just wait and see. There's something up there, so I'm gonna go check now. Oh, there it is. We found another secret. An imp toy. Now where'd it go? Behold the fruits of our labor. Fruits of our labor, huh? Yeah. Bull. something real quick oh yeah sorry I've been checking the map frequently so I'll be doing that a lot so sorry about that Done. 
and look what we found a one up which is actually an extra life let's see where we can just go back up and find that entrance for and this page thing remaining humans and that's just the same image actually just to show it anyway nothing and we got a secret found which is an extra life so here's the thing instead of trying to die you're just gonna have to use one of the lives because instead it will help you progress into them continue on to where you left off without dying and starting on from the beginning because that's helpful and it looks like I require a yellow key for this and I'm also guessing that this tower is where I'm supposed to go all right enough said let's just go Um, there's a life over there behind me. Another life. Now I have two lives. What the heck is that? Another one of those things from the picture. Alright. Wall climb. So you see one of these wall that has these things that looks like messed up. Just jump on it and then you'll climb up. There we go. And there's the key card I need. Thank you. More battle going on. Already unlocked it. There's nothing there for me. We're good. Now we can go. Also, there's these. There's also surrounded by traps. Watch out. Count. There we go. Sorry, what? Brighter tomorrow of destroying our planet? I don't think so. Thanks to the new AC Hell Merger Initiative, humanity can now reach its full potential. That was a close one. You already said that before.
made it. Okay, now we can... Ugh. Too many flesh teeth and all. You know, this whole thing kind of reminds me of another game. Splatterhouse. It's a pretty good game. It does have its guilty pleasure, though. Enough said, let's just change our... Weapon. Thing, whatever. Precision bolt, which is a scope. And micro-missiles. I could just use this just to... Kill these enemies with a scope. And the micro-missiles is just like the um, one in the last previous game. So we're just gonna use this for now. Done. At least there it could just make it easier for me to shoot them. Things out of them. Spragnatron's head. And let's see if I missed something there. Nope. Now we can go. Oh, hold on a second. Look what else we found. Frag grenades. That could be very useful for me. Instead of just throwing it with my hand, I could just shoot it out of my cannon on the shoulders or whatever. Let me just check one more time. See if there's anything that I missed. Okay, dokey. Nope, everything is already checked. Oh, we got another thing. Weak spot. The Cackle Demon. Just shoot a grenade in it. So we can swallow it and explode inside. Distracting it. Time for a swing. There it is. So I don't know how that happens. You just tear its eye out and explode. And that works pretty well. somewhere just to try this out these guys are still fighting Oh, there it is. And there's the armor.
death. And there's another one popping out. Oh, that's a good shot. No secrets. No, oh, actually, yeah, there's no secret. Never mind. Just trying to sweep the area before we go any further. that mech again. Almost fell. The UAC would like to thank you for your support during this transition. Your suffering continues to inspire us. Yeah. And so is your thickness. Big ass. Let me see a few more. Just to, um, yeah, okay, good. bad I can't we can't use the snap map in here because they took that away yeah so let's just see okay just jump over this area now Just four left. Okay, for un the formation of the arc. Just needed to check something, sorry. Now to check this thing, image. Together we survive. ARC, Armor Response Coalition. 
And look, there's a little exit thing from the first game. It's nice. Ooh, okay, so I need to watch out for that. Testicle, I mean tentacle. <laughs> testicle, what I'm saying. Tentacle. I keep forgetting that I have that fragmenting thing on my shoulder. Okay, I need to watch out because sometimes these things ha pop out randomly. Other times they don't. Oh, looks like I found another secret. Uh, cheat codes. So it looks like I can collect some of these guys if i can use all of them or something like that and one of them is infinite lives so yeah nothing here so we can go <clears throat> ah, okay. see what i mean about those things. Can't be too sharp. Of course there's some mammals here, so that was pointless. anything here. Uh, there's something over there, but I gotta go upstairs. More infighting. You know, the last game, it doesn't feature any infighting. infighting. <clears throat> Unless if you're far away distant, then you know that they're fighting. The future. To suffer is to be present. Ah, oh, boy. These ads really get better every moment. Cackle demons swallow the grenade and they explode whenever they swallow it. Like that. Because it kind of reminds me of those Looney Tune cartoons when uh, they feed a character a dynamite and they explode inside their mouth. Puffed up like that. Let me just find an enemy because I'm almost out.
guy that takes care of them. And I already made it to level 4. Like I said before, I was messing around with this game before them. Recording this, just to see what's going on and how this function. And there's the one up, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go up. Alright, sorry for that quiet, silent moment. There was a bit of a sound in the background, as usual. Let's just take care of these guys. So I can't. I was too distracted by that sign. Let me see. There's a um, R. Ugh. Extra life over there. I, uh, I can't speak. Kind of reminds you of something. Alright, enough's that. Let's just go. I'm dead. That takes care of them. So you see, instead of trying to, when you die, instead of trying to start over all the way from the beginning, you wind up here. And let me just take care of this. Inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your hunt. Alright, that takes care of that. So let's just go back and get that extra life. Okay. 
There we go. Now we can go. And we just got two more objects to find, so we're good. Now uh, let me just check one more thing. Again, I am going to check this map frequently in order, in case if I miss something. Backtracking, so sorry. Alright, that's good. Now into the portal. Yeah, all the way up there. That's just the music, never mind. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. No doubt about it. Look, there's more of these things carrying the castle. Like I said, this is becoming more Lord of the Ring-ish. Or at least Skyrim. And take a look at this view of the entire city. I don't know, probably New York or someplace over there, into the east, that they're trying to locate the Hell Priests. Ah, looks like they're all welcoming me, okay. Ah, talk about this choir going on. Let me just find where I'm supposed to get. Area looks very similar to Doom 3 or Quake. Yeah, fast travel, okay. Teleport in the map, okay, that's somehow easy. Just showed me. There's one of those things now. Dig Nixle. Alright. Let's see what this is about. Okay, looks like that's before on the left side, and this is after on the right. Let's just circle around, see if there's anything else left before we continue on. Oh, it's a fun fact, though. A lot of fun facts. That they've been using some heavy metal choir for this whole soundtrack, especially in this part of it, not this one. And another fact that those mechs you keep seeing, I'm just gonna have to tell you that later. Maybe in the next video. Hell Priests. And looks like there are three of them in all. Let's see. Well, that looks like that's everything. So now we're going to have to go up and interrupt something. And of course, they brought in the classic switch, the skull switch. The con maker is present at this gathering. When outside of her domain, she is by all accounts indestructible.
You go too far, Mister. You cannot interfere. This is humanity's chance to repent. To give service to us. You cannot resist the will of the Khan Maker. Activating the portal now. For it was you who was meant to enforce it. Okay, that's completed. What do you know? That's nice. And just give it a moment just to wait it out. Or not. So it looks like everything is taken care of, which is good. And we're also going to have to stop this video. So thank you again for watching my video of Doom Eternal. If there's any, like I said, if there's anything that you like, give a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and make sure you press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video. So stay safe, wash your hands, stay in the house, don't go anywhere if necessary. Practice your social distant, etc., etc., and I will see you again later.